can I talk to state champion Jalen Walker today? I mean, you, you must like the sound of that. That oh, yeah. champion in front of your name. Huh? What, what is this? What does the last 12 hours of your life feel like right now? You know, it's felt great. You know, lots of relief, you know, you know, happy, you know, mixed emotions on the season being over. But, you know, we went out uh, the best of our ability to go out, you know, win the state championship. You know, all my teammates are happy. You know, my whole message this week was to the seniors. I'm not letting y'all leave Raleigh without the ring or the championship. And that's what I did. You know, that's what we proved tonight. Well, that night against uh, St. Paul's, you know, we conquered and did what we had to do. Can can you adequately adequately describe that feeling? Because it's a lot of stuff. It's rushing right. the field. It's holding the trophy. It's kissing the trophy. It's the ride back. I mean, how, how can you put into words how 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 thrilling winning a state title is? You know, if I had to put it in one word, it'd be spontaneous. You know, that whole act when the buzzer went off. You know, at the end of the fourth quarter. You know, everybody, all the players rushed the field. You know, uh, tears of joy. You seen. Guys go crazy, you know, especially young guys that joined the team this year go crazy, you know, seeing the tears of joy from the seniors. You know, it was just a great atmosphere, you know, seeing all the fans and parents out in the stands, you know, cheering us on, uh, who believed in us to go to the state championship and go win it. Is there a moment that you'll remember from that from that game? Right. You know, I feel like the moment I remember is my brother's uh, pick. You know, we uh, I'm calling a play uh, and I'm looking at him, you know, making sure he got the play and looking at his eyes and I can see he's ready. You know, next thing you know, we, uh, they throw the ball up. He gets the pick, you know, great best feeling is me and him running off the field together, celebrating you know, his interception. You know, those moments just last forever. He, I mean, I wrote this week that he, the last six games, he's already moved into prospect phase. Don't you think? I mean, he is a future college football player. I mean, he's making the plays in the biggest right. games. That, that make an impact. I think he's got a couple of interceptions, a couple of touchdown catches. I mean, he's literally becoming uh, a, a a Walker family football player right. in front of your eyes, isn't he? Right, yeah, he's doing great. You know, this whole playoff season, he's been in a whole different mode, you know, catching great inter interceptions, great passes, you know, throughout the season, you know, he's just doing great. He's growing up right in front of my eyes. Now, I know you had 12 tackles. Did you get any right. sacks? Did you get any TFLs? What else did you eat? Uh, or what did right. you do that day? Right. You know, I had a pass breakup, uh, two pass breakups, actually, you know, and then the touchdown I had uh, going on offense as tight end. How much did you – of all, all the snaps, where were the majority of your snaps on defense? Uh, majority of my snaps, I was outside linebacker. Uh, you no, know, beginning the first quarter, uh, they, they tried to run the ball on us. You know, I feel like we have the best uh, front in the state of North Carolina. You know, those guys get after it. Um, you know, they stopped the run game very easily. And then as soon as they tried to get to the passing game, that was when my job, my brother, and the safeties, rest of the corners jobs had to be taken at a high level. So, um, And then I, we got to show the, the good people this. I mean, everybody's going to be like, Jeff, what are you doing showing receiver tight end? Right. Tight the All-American linebacker. But uh, first off, I want to get a little backstory. It, had, had this, have you lined up and tied in and ran this route before? Was that something that Coach Henson had in his back pocket for the state championship game? That play, you know, we've been talking about it all week long in practice. You know, we did that in practice so many times, and Coach Henson was like, you're going to score on this play this week. Just watch and see, you know, it happened. And let's look at this now. I mean, you look pretty smooth, man. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you got this Randy Walsh. You're throwing the hand right. up. Take, take us through this play and what, what's going on right there. Right. You know, I line down and just see one guy lined up over me. And I know at this point where I could just run past him, I'll be wide open. Uh, next step, I seen the safety. He was, He's paying no attention to me. He doesn't really see me. And next thing you know, I just throw the hand up, turn around, you know, uh, my quarterback, Vance Honeycutt, throws the ball and, you know, I walk into the end zone. You know, I felt like that touchdown sealed the game. As a defensive player, how do you feel about scoring in the state championship game? You realize that's an uncommon feat, right? Right. You know, it's, it's a memorable moment. You know, I can tell my kids one day, hey, I, when I played in a state championship game at Salisbury High School, I scored, you know, on, on a 25-yard uh, tight end to play. So, <laughs> um, Now, let me ask a reporter's question. You're like, man, Jeff, hold on a second. We just right. this thing. How <laughs> much – you know, you got a chance to win two state championships in a calendar year. Right. How much of this nucleus comes back for the 2021 season in the fall? Right. You know, same thing as last year. You know, we lose uh, 
guys every single year. But, you know, we come back and reload every single year with guys coming in, ready to work uh, in the offseason, coming back strong and beginning of the season. You know, this year we have a re, uh, re-dynamic uh, schedule and conference this year. So we won't be playing the same teams as usual. So we'll have new competition. But, you know, still the same thing. We go out there and uh, have the same expectations to win. Jalen, how many pictures did you take with the trophy? And I, I think I saw a little bit of your gram. You went right. I, I don't think you, you let that trophy go for about 100 miles, maybe. No, nah, nah, we uh, same thing as last week. Last week, I held the trophy on the way home, uh, semifinals trophy. You know, it felt good. And, you know, this week, I, I knew for a fact, I, like I said, I wasn't leaving Raleigh without it. I couldn't leave Raleigh without it. So I held the uh, trophy back home, you know. I they got a little snooze in maybe about 10 minutes before we got back to uh, Salisbury getting escorted by the police. So I handed the trophy to somebody else. <laughs> How much did you slept? Did you sleep when you got home? Were you tired? Were you wore out? I, I wasn't. You know, I was I was full of energy. I could, it was so uh, surreal. You know, the whole feeling of winning a state championship, you know, uh, it's been 11 years since Salisbury High School has won a championship. You know, it's great to bring the championship back home to Salisbury. I know you're a motivated dude and you'll find a way to do something, but like uh, where are the goals left now for your uh, high school football season? you got another encore year to go, but like right. have you thought about like what's going to be your motivation for senior year? Go out with a bang, you know, you go big or go home. You know, I can't go home empty handed. I uh, felt like that this year. I told my seniors back to back numerous of times, I'm not let, letting y'all go home without some jewelry on your, your finger. You know, and that happened, you know, those guys are super excited and happy for those guys. You know, most some of those guys have uh, aspirations to go to college and some do. And, you know, just really great to see them uh, with a smile on their face. Uh, so, Jalen, what do you do now? I know you're probably going to uh, you might do some. What was it funny? Your mom has this term. You're a seasonal worker at Chick-fil-A. So right. when your seasons are on and off, that's when you right. work. I mean, what are you going to be doing in your offseason? What's the offseason going to look like for Jalen Walker? Right. So actually next week, uh, track season starts up. Uh, so, you know, last year we only had one track meet and I qualified for states in uh, triple jump and long jump last year. Uh, so and thing is, I only practice uh, long jump. I had no idea I was going to do triple jump. Just thought I'd do it for fun. And turns out I'm pretty good at it. So I uh, feel like my offseason will go win another state championship uh, for my personal self, you know, doing jumps or and the hundred. So, you know, as long as I compete and do my best, that's uh, what I'll be satisfied with. But off season work is, you know, getting bigger, you know, staying in the weight room, staying in shape and uh, going back out in I think three, four months uh, to play another football season. And it'll be a full football season this fall, oh. right? maybe a max of 14 games or something like that. Correct. Wow. So yeah, go ahead, son, play 25 football games <laughs> in one year, man. Right. Uh, Jalen, I guess uh, in that way, I got to ask you, I know you're coming in the third weekend of June for your official visit. Do you plan on taking other, any other trips or going to see Georgia or what do you plan on doing with your recruiter hat on for a minute now over the next, you know, four or five months until you play ball again? Right. You know, that uh, third week of June, you know, I am taking my official visit. You know, I plan on, you know, meeting more of my teammates. You know, I know lots of prospects are coming in and recruits, you know, can't wait to uh, talk to those guys, you know, just make, them feel at home, like the same way I felt when I got there, um, you know, just having a great relationship, building great relationships with all these prospects and recruits, you know, just makes the family even stronger when you're not there. And when you get there, it's just a whole better feeling about it. But uh, I do plan, you know, take down more unofficial visits if I can uh, to Georgia just to get the whole feeling, get all the love I got uh, missed out on during the day period. Uh, and I think you said this many times very firmly, but you're just visiting Georgia, right? That's where you're right. going to be, right? You're not going to flirt with any, any other any other folks, right? No, I'm, I'm locked in. I'm locked in. Uh, now, let me see. How's the first month in the group chat been treating you, man? How, what's that been like? Have you identified the characters right. yet? Right, yeah. You know, I, you know, we actually, you know, picked up the wide receiver early, uh, you know, earlier on uh, this month. You know, he joined the group chat, you know, you know, everybody's showing love, you know, got to meet, you know, everybody, you know, just the whole, just whole family vibes, you know, all the recruiting coordinators, you know, coaches and everything. It's like we had, it's like we haven't even met yet. We haven't met yet. You know, we haven't met yet at all. You know, our first time we'll be encountering each other is in June. So I'm excited about that, but it feels like I know those guys, you know, like I see those guys every single day. Huh. And it's funny 
traditionally every year, there are guys that are that are not committed yet that are in the group chat, and right. they're, they're they're kind of some of the most loudest, most boisterous ones in the group chat. Right. Um, is there a guy like now that you think I'm going to talk to? I'm going to work on. Is there a guy that you're going to? I guess just let them know how much you'd love to play with them at George. Is there a guy you're focusing on or guys you're focusing on right now? Right. You know, those are, there's a lot of guys. You know, Travis Shaw, one and D. You know, he's playing for a state championship tonight as well. You know, he's one of my great friends. You know, we met each other this year throughout the years, and you know, I feel like with a big guy up front, you know with the other big guys that's there already, you know, Bear, uh, all the rest of the D-line committed and D-line that will be there. With him on the line and just be a scarier sight, you know, protects the linebackers a little bit more, you know. And then Jahai Campbell, another linebacker that can come in, you know, he's a great athlete overall. Uh, Dalen Everett, the, you know, the cornerback, you know, Kamari Wilson, the safety, you know, Keon Sab, the other safety, you know. We bring those guys in. Uh, we'll even be better where we are right now. Jalen, I don't know. You've had a full life already, man. It was, is winning the state title, is that one of the best days of your life? We can see the, the smile and the exuberance right. on your faces. I mean, I mean, is that the best day of young Jalen Walker's, Walk, Walker's life? What do you think? You know, I feel like it is one of the moments, the greatest moments of my life. You know, I won't let I won't let forget it, uh, forget it at all. You know, I plan to have uh, many more championships under my belt, you know, going into my last year and to Georgia, you know. Uh, I saw somebody tweet on Twitter that I have the winning mentality, which I do. You know, I feel like I'll go to school and play football to win championships. You know, that's just the whole outcome of it. You just go one and know every week, and you know, you find your way into a championship game, which is you know the best feeling to do to go win. Uh, Jalen, I think one thing you said to me this week, and it kind of dawned on me when I was like flipping messages with you back and forth. You haven't lost since you became a bulldog. And you haven't right. lost since you got out of that cast, too, right? Right, right. I mean, you, you had a great answer for this. I mean, what is that – what did the commitment to Georgia do for your game? You know, I felt so much better, you know, stress-free. You know, I got onto that field and, you know, had my Georgia gloves on and looked at my coach. Like, I feel like a better person. You know, I felt like a better person overall, a better player overall. You know, just felt so much pressure off my shoulders and felt like I just go out there and play and do what I had to do. Uh I think you've coined a new term for me. I've heard a lot of players call it the ship or going to win a natty. But for yeah. you, it's the chip, right? Like how many times yeah. have you said the phrase the chip over the last 36 oh hours of your life? And I, I, I said a lot, chipper, chip, you know, in the locker room, everybody's screaming, chip, chipper. You know, it's just, it's just a, a phrase we use. You know, it's just a great phrase. You know, why not? You know, why not do it? Why not start something new to a new dynasty? You know, uh, we set it up last year, go to the state championship, you know, not come out successful and uh, go back now, come su become successful, you know, and next year doing the same thing in my eyes. So, Folks, I tell you, I wrote about him this week and it's like, uh, you know, his dad's a college coach. You know, that's the fact that went on the bio, but doggone it. He certainly sounds like one all the time, too. When he was breaking down, we got to stretch him outside our fronts, their fronts. We're a little bit faster. Right. And it all, it all pretty much played out the way uh, young Jalen Walker with Coach Vibes uh, said it was going to. I wanted to, you know, I could have done the phone interview, but I wanted you guys to see this young man. I mean, just basking in championship glory. Excuse me, basking in chipper glory or chip glory. <laughs> um, right. Jalen Walker, you got anything last words you want to say to everybody out there that's enjoying and celebrating your state championship this week? Right. You know, I appreciate all the love, all the tweets. I see it all. You know, I appreciate all the love, especially my teammates. You know, they see it as well. All my coaches, you know, I love to bring the University of Georgia Salisbury High School. Love all the efforts, all the support you guys give me throughout the year. Guys, that's Jalen Walker. He did not have a script. That's all off the hip. Right. That's the way he rolls. Quality young man. Terrific future addition to the University of Georgia. Hey, Jalen, thanks for taking some time and joining us here on Dog Nation. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me.